Hi, my name is Matt Duff. I'm an amplifier application engineer here at Analog Devices, and today we're going to talk about stability. So, for example, how you would analyze the stability of a typical op amp circuit. And before we can actually get into the details of looking at a few op amps, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this concept called loop gain. And this is imp very important in terms of uh, analyzing stability. So, let's say we have a, a typical circuit here. I've drawn a non inverting op amp configuration. We can represent this configuration in block diagram form. So I can take this amplifier and I can represent it as this block with uh, its open loop gain of A. And then I can take the feedback network that we have with these resistors here. And the typical way to represent that is a block uh, with gain of beta. So if I once I have this block diagram, then I can uh, go and calculate a feedback equation. And we're not actually in this video going to go calculate this. Thousands of engineers have done this before, so we're going to skip that. So you'll have to trust them. Uh, but here is the feedback equation. It's pretty famous. And uh, what it gives us is the actual, what's called the closed loop gain of the amplifier, which is basically the output referred to the input. But the, the key term that we want to focus on is something called loop gain, which is this term right here. And the reason that this term is so important is because when it goes to minus one, you'll notice that this equation blows up. Uh, so you notice that it goes to infinity. And another way of saying that this goes to minus one is if we say that this goes to one with a 180 degree phase shift. So we do not want that to happen. And <clears throat> so in the next video, we'll talk about how uh, we can determine and make sure that doesn't happen. One thing that I did want to point out is we're calling this loop gain, and just don't get confused between the open loop gain, which is A of the amplifier, the closed loop gain of the actual uh, circuit itself, and just plain old loop gain, which is the term that we're interested in.